won't lose your leg that much, I can promise you. But it will hurt some for a time longer. Looks worse than it is. Just keep it clean and you should be fine. Honor, I simply can't get to all these men in reasonable time. I need help. From you, from anyone. I think I have someone for you. Diana, come with me. I need your help. Of course. What's the matter? <sighs> Dr. White is overwhelmed and needs some extra hands. I'm no doctor, Connor. Maybe not. But I have seen you care for people before. You have the way of it. Diana! Perfect. I'm told you have a healer's hand. Please see to this young man. Connor, if you could help the two gentlemen out front. Thanks, Skip. Good of you to help. I should be all right. Thanks, Captain. That's a spot better, sir. Thanks. Caught a piece of shrapnel in the shoulder. Bad luck. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Oh, caught some burn off a rope. It happens. Thanks, Skipper. You did well, Connor. But Diana, you impressed me greatly. W well, thank you, Doctor. I haven't studied the practice or anything. Maybe not, but your instincts are superb, and you have a healer's touch. If you had the time, I would be grateful for your help on a more regular basis. Might be Catherine could watch the young ones a few days a week. And if she can't, we'll find someone who will. Good day, Connor. Hello, Dr. White. Diana? Hello there, Connor. Diana and I were just having a look over our equipment and facilities. They've seen a great deal of use in the last few days. So things have turned for the better. Better than it ever was in Boston. I was missing my apprentice when things first exploded, but now I have Diana. She's better than he was in every respect. And are you happy, Diana? I never thought this would be my path, but now that I'm here, I admit it feels right.
One day, Doc, one day, you'll find one too. She'll come wandering into the village and light up your life. Mark my words, I'm telling you. I have a sense for these things. Might be, might be. Ahoy, Connor! Look at us. Three bachelors waiting for love, or waiting for a drink. Whatever comes first. <laughs> drink wins! <laughs> Women will be lining up for you, Doc. I'm telling you. Ladies love a healer. It's me that's doomed. Who wants to marry a woodworker, eh? Who? Nobody is who. Hogwash! You brought the folding chair to the Americas. You're a pioneer, an entrepreneur. Women appreciate a man with vision. <laughs> what about you, Connor? How is it a man like you has no wife? I would not be a good husband. I have not the time to give. One day, perhaps.